Imagine a place where gravity is so strong that nothing, not even light, can escape. This is the captivating reality of a black hole. But what if there might be an even more mind-boggling counterpart, a white hole? These theoretical entities stand as polar opposites, one devouring everything and the other spewing matter and light. Black holes have long captured our imaginations, but white holes add another layer of intrigue. What would happen if these two celestial titans were to collide? Would it be a cataclysmic event or hold the key to unlocking the universe's secrets? Join me as we unravel the mysteries of black holes and white holes. From the swirling vortex of a black hole to the hypothetical brilliance of a white hole, the cosmos is teeming with mysteries that captivate our imaginations. The quest to understand these celestial objects is a testament to our innate human curiosity, our relentless drive to explore the unknown and unravel the secrets of space and time. Black holes, once mere mathematical curiosities, have now been definitively observed. Their existence confirmed through groundbreaking observations and advancements in astrophysics. These enigmatic objects possess gravitational forces so strong that they warp space-time, creating regions from which nothing can escape, not even light. But what about white holes? These theoretical entities are often described as the reverse of black holes. While a black hole acts as a cosmic vacuum cleaner, a white hole is thought to be a cosmic geyser, spewing out matter and light. The very existence of white holes remains a topic of debate among physicists. The possibility of their existence opens up a Pandora's box of intriguing questions. In our quest to understand the universe, we are often confronted with more questions than answers. The concepts of black holes and white holes are no exception. These celestial objects shrouded in mystery and intrigue challenge our understanding of the fundamental laws of physics and push the boundaries of our scientific knowledge. To comprehend the potential consequences of a collision between a black hole and a white hole, we must first delve deeper into their individual characteristics. Black holes with their immense gravitational pull are often depicted as cosmic monsters, relentlessly devouring anything that crosses their event horizon, the point of no return. But they are also engines of creation, playing a crucial role in the evolution of galaxies and the birth of stars. Black holes and white holes, these cosmic entities, stand in stark contrast to one another, representing the yin and yang of the universe. Black holes, with their insatiable appetite for matter and energy, are often perceived as harbingers of destruction, while white holes, with their theoretical ability to birth new universes, embody creation and renewal. Imagine a cosmic dance, a celestial ballet where these two opposing forces engage in a delicate and intricate waltz. The black hole, a swirling vortex of darkness, pulls everything towards its center, its gravitational pull so intense that not even light can escape its grasp. On the other hand, the white hole, a beacon of brilliance, repels everything that comes near, spewing forth matter and energy into the cosmos. This cosmic dichotomy, this interplay between darkness and light, destruction and creation, lies at the heart of our fascination with black holes and white holes. Their opposing natures challenge our understanding of the universe, forcing us to confront the limits of our knowledge and the boundless possibilities that exist beyond our current comprehension. To understand the potential consequences of a black hole encountering a white hole, we must first delve into the nature of gravity, the fundamental force that governs the cosmos. Gravity, as described by Einstein's theory of general relativity, is not merely a force but a curvature in the fabric of space-time. Imagine a bowling ball placed on a trampoline, causing the fabric to sag. This indentation represents the distortion of space-time caused by a massive object like a black hole. The greater the mass, the deeper the indentation, and the stronger the gravitational pull. Black holes, with their immense density and concentrated mass, create the most extreme gravitational wells in the universe. The event horizon of a black hole is often described as a point of no return, a boundary beyond which nothing, not even light, can escape the relentless pull of gravity. It's a region of space-time where the gravitational pull is so strong that it warps the fabric of the universe, distorting time and space itself. Imagine approaching a black hole, drawn in by its immense gravitational pull. As you get closer, you would notice time slowing down, light becoming increasingly redshifted, and the fabric of space itself stretching and distorting. Finally, as you cross the event horizon, you would be inexorably pulled towards the singularity at the center, your fate sealed. In contrast, the event horizon of a white hole, if it exists, would be a region of intense outward pressure, pushing everything away. 
Let's picture a giant cosmic vacuum cleaner, relentlessly sucking up everything in its path. That's a simplified but helpful way to visualize a black hole. But unlike the vacuum cleaners we know, black holes aren't just empty spaces. They're regions of incredibly concentrated matter packed so tightly that they warp the very fabric of space-time. At the heart of a black hole lies the singularity, a point of infinite density where the laws of physics as we understand them cease to apply. The singularity is where all the matter that falls into a black hole gets crushed into an infinitely small point. Surrounding this mysterious singularity is the event horizon, the point of no return. Black holes sound like something out of science fiction, right? But they're very much a part of our universe and they're born from the spectacular deaths of massive stars. Now not all stars become black holes, our sun for example is far too small. It'll end its life as a white dwarf, a much gentler fate. For a star to become a black hole, it needs to be at least several times more massive than our sun. These stellar giants live fast and die young, burning through their nuclear fuel much faster than their smaller counterparts. When they run out of fuel, they can no longer hold themselves up against their own gravity. Now let's talk about what would happen if you were to have an unfortunate encounter with a black hole. Let's just say, for the sake of this cosmic thought experiment, that you ignored all the warning signs and steered your spaceship a little too close. As you approach the black hole, you'd start to feel the incredible pull of its gravity. But here's the thing, the pull of gravity is not uniform across your entire body. The parts of your body closer to the black hole would experience a much stronger pull than the parts farther away. We've talked about the event horizon, the point of no return, the rather unpleasant process of spaghettification. But what about the singularity itself, the heart of the black hole? What happens to all the matter that falls into a black hole? Does it just vanish from existence? These are some of the most perplexing questions in astrophysics and the answers remain elusive. Our current understanding of physics breaks down at the singularity. We simply don't have the tools to describe what happens in a region of infinite density and zero volume. Some theories suggest that the singularity could be a gateway to other universes or even other points in our own universe. Imagine a cosmic shortcut, a tunnel through space-time that connects distant regions of the cosmos. If black holes are the cosmic vacuum cleaners, relentlessly sucking in everything around them, then white holes are their theoretical opposites. Imagine a cosmic fountain, spewing out matter and energy like a geyser in reverse. That's the basic idea behind a white hole. A region of space-time where nothing can enter, but everything inside can escape. While black holes are defined by their incredibly strong gravitational pull, white holes theoretically would have an equally powerful outward push. Their event horizon instead of being a point of no return would be an impenetrable barrier, repelling anything that tries to cross it. The very concept of a white hole might seem like something out of science fiction, but it arises from the same equations that predict the existence of black holes, Einstein's theory of general relativity. One of the most mind-boggling aspects of white holes is the concept of a singularity working in reverse. If a black hole's singularity is a point of infinite density where matter is crushed out of existence, then a white hole's singularity would have to be a point where matter spontaneously comes into being. Imagine a fountain, where water seems to appear out of nowhere at the center and flows outwards. That's a crude analogy, but it helps visualize the concept of a white hole singularity. Instead of matter being pulled in and crushed, it would be constantly created and expelled outward. This outward flow of matter and energy from the white hole singularity would be incredibly powerful, creating a region of intense pressure and radiation. Anything that comes into contact with this outflow would be blasted away at incredible speeds. The problem is this concept of a reverse singularity creates a lot of paradoxes and challenges our understanding of physics. Where would this matter and energy come from? How could something be created from nothing? These are questions that physicists are still grappling with. One of the most intriguing ideas connected to white holes is their potential link to wormholes. Wormholes are hypothetical tunnels through space-time that could connect distant parts of the universe. Some physicists believe that white holes could be the other end of black holes connected by these wormhole tunnels. However, it's important to remember that this is all highly speculative. While black holes have been observed, white holes remain elusive. We have yet to find any concrete evidence of their existence. White holes are thought to be incredibly bright and energetic. This makes them hard to distinguish from other luminous objects. Scientists are developing new techniques to find them. Studying gamma-ray bursts might offer clues. 
the search for white holes pushes the boundaries of our understanding. Now let's delve into the heart of our cosmic mystery. Imagine a black hole and a white hole on a collision course. Locked in a gravitational dance, they spiral closer and closer. Their gravitational fields interact, distorting space-time. Light bends and time slows to a crawl. What happens at the moment of impact? Here, physics breaks down into speculation and theory. One possibility is that the collision between a black hole and a white hole would result in an explosive release of energy, a cosmic annihilation of unimaginable scale. Remember, black holes are all about pulling matter in, while white holes are all about pushing it out. So, when these two forces collide, the result could be an explosive release of energy, as matter and antimatter annihilate each other. Imagine the energy released by billions of stars going supernova at the same instant. That's the kind of power we're talking about. This energy release could take the form of intense radiation, gravitational waves that ripple through the fabric of space-time, and perhaps even the creation of exotic particles that we haven't even dreamed of yet. This cosmic explosion could have profound implications for the surrounding universe. It could trigger the formation of new stars and galaxies, or it could rip apart existing structures, reshaping the cosmic landscape in dramatic ways. However, this scenario of complete annihilation is just one possibility. Other theories suggest that the outcome of a black hole-white hole collision could be far stranger and more complex. Another intriguing possibility is that the collision of a black hole and a white hole could create a bridge between universes, a cosmic portal to realms beyond our own. Some physicists have theorized that white holes could be the other end of black holes connected by wormholes, those hypothetical tunnels through space-time. In this scenario, instead of annihilating each other, the black hole and white hole could merge, creating a stable wormhole that connects our universe to another. This wormhole could potentially allow for the passage of matter and energy between these universes, opening up a whole new realm of possibilities for exploration and discovery. Imagine a universe where the laws of physics are different, where time flows differently, or where entirely new forms of matter and energy exist. This collision could be the key to unlocking these secrets, offering us a glimpse into realms beyond our wildest imaginations. Of course, this is all highly speculative, and the idea of traveling through wormholes is still firmly in the realm of science fiction, but the possibility, however remote, is tantalizing nonetheless. Even if we never directly observe a black hole-white hole collision, the after-effects could be imprinted on the fabric of our universe. Remember the cosmic microwave background radiation, the faint afterglow of the Big Bang? This radiation contains subtle temperature fluctuations. Some scientists believe collisions between black holes and white holes created ripples in space-time detectable today as faint patterns in the cosmic microwave background. These patterns could provide evidence for these cosmic collisions. The quest to understand black holes and white holes is a journey to the frontiers of our knowledge. As we've journeyed to the edge of the universe and back, exploring black holes and white holes, the cosmos is an endless source of wonder and mystery. Unraveling their secrets is like peeling back layers of a cosmic onion. Black holes, once theoretical, are now undeniable realities shaping the destiny of stars and galaxies. We've glimpsed the shadow of a supermassive black hole, a testament to human ingenuity and our thirst for knowledge. White holes remain tantalizing enigmas hinted at by equations but never observed. Are they the cosmic opposites of black holes spewing out matter and energy into the universe? Are they gateways to other universes connected by bridges through space-time? These questions challenge our understanding of the cosmos and fuel our desire to explore further. The hypothetical collision between a black hole and a white hole, a clash of cosmic titans, pushes our imagination to its limits. Would it be an explosive release of energy, a cosmic annihilation of unimaginable scale? Or could it be something even stranger, a portal to new universes or a glimpse into the very fabric of reality? The beauty of science lies in its embrace of the unknown. It's not about having all the answers, but about asking the right questions, seeking out new knowledge, and refining our understanding of the universe we inhabit. As we continue to explore the cosmos, developing new technologies and pushing the boundaries of our knowledge, we can be sure of one thing. The universe will continue to surprise us. New discoveries await, hidden in the faint glow of distant stars, the echoes of gravitational waves, and the very fabric of space-time itself. What are your thoughts on the mysteries of black holes and white holes? Do you think we'll ever be able to unravel their secrets fully? Share your thoughts and theories in the comments section below. Let's keep the cosmic conversation going. 
And remember, the universe is vast, and there's still so much left to explore. So keep looking up, keep asking questions, and never stop wondering about the incredible universe we call home. Thanks for watching.